What's good guys, I'm here, aka Discreet, coming to you again with another hip hop breaking tutorial from Discreet Dance. So last week we looked at three foundation freezers, we looked at a beginner, an intermediate and an advanced freeze. I hope you've all been trying those. If you missed those last week guys, do not worry, I'll post a link in the description down below for the comments up above guys. Jump in there guys, check those out, come back to us and then you'll be ready for class. Number two, today we are going to look at some beginner, some intermediate and advanced floor work, footwork steps, okay? We're going to be looking at three today, they are a CC, a three step and a six step, okay? So the beginner one, we're going to start with guys with what we call a CC and this is what it looks like. So we're going to start on our bums, just to make this a little bit easier to understand the step and then we'll move on to the properly. So what we're going to do guys is a CC is sort of like a seesaw in the sense that it rocks backwards and forwards and that's the motion we're going to try and create from moving side to side. So the first thing we're going to look at is how our legs are going to move. So we're going to bring our right leg up okay, and we're going to keep our left leg straight. What we're going to do is we're going to work at transferring our hands. So our hands are going to start behind us. As we go to each side we're going to aim to transfer our hands so from this position guys, with my right leg up, I'm going to bring my right arm over and I'm going to try and keep my face and my body forward as I do this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate my hips to try and get the sole and the bottom of my shoe to face the ceiling. So once I'm here, I'm rotating, leaving this foot here for support, I'm rotating over to get that foot facing the ceiling and then I'm putting it down. From here, everything's just rewinding, coming back to the beginning. So that's the CC on the left. We're now going to CC on the right. To do that, I'm going to switch my legs. Same principle, arms come over, rotate, foot faces the ceiling, and I come back to the beginning. Okay? And then I'm switching again. So the same motion happens over and over again, comes back to the middle, switches your legs, arms go over, move. Okay? So the motion I'm looking for is this. Okay? And I'm using my other foot, which is straight and flat, to help push me up. Once we've got that step down to a T, this is where it becomes difficult. What we're going to do is we're going to take our bum from this position to this position. Okay? So I'm keeping our bum off the floor. I, ideally, when I break, like to have my hands slightly bent, okay? on a sense that my palms are off the floor but it's entirely up to you guys, do what feels natural. Once you've got your palms off the floor, you are higher up, which makes things easier, but if you're a bit risky and you don't fancy that at the moment, keep your hands flat, it's entirely up to you. So, we're now gonna do the same thing, but with our bums off the floor. So I'm gonna bring my right leg up, left leg stays out, exact same starting position, right hand comes over, down to the floor, this leg now stays straight, because we've got to keep that bum off the floor. So as my hand goes down, my right foot comes up, you see how I rotate? If you watch my front foot, see how I rotate? On to the toe, so it's easier to access and push back up. Back into the middle, switch your legs, hands go over, rock the other side, okay? See how I'm still trying to keep forward? I'm opening up my body to show the audience or whoever I'm battling what I am doing. Legs, switch once you're back to the middle, Opposite side, in you go, hands back, leg switch, okay, and we return from side to side, once, one, after the other, okay, same momentum, same switch in the middle, switch with the hands either side, okay, once you have figured this out guys, aim is to go as quick as possible. So once you have got step one on your bum, switching from side to side, once you have done step two, done it with your bum up, momentum and legs transferring, our aim is to now speed it up, add that to music and it should look a little bit like this. intermediate step and this is what we call a three step 
There's three steps to it, believe it or not, and this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to start in a press-up position, and we're going to have our legs wide. Okay, so our starting position looks like this. The first step we're going to use is we're going to take our left leg, and it's going to come through this gap that I've created between my right foot and my right arm. Okay? As it comes through, I'm going to push my hips through following it, and I'm going to take my right arm out of the way. So it's going to look like this one. So I'm sat on my back right foot, my right foot's bent, and I've taken all my body into that gap. So one more time, from here, nice and slow. This comes in, my right foot's coming behind, my hand's moving out the way onto my hip. One. Once I've got that first step, guys, I'm gonna switch my feet around. So I'm gonna do sort of like I just did in a CC. I'm gonna switch my legs and switch my arms to the opposite direction. So the first thing, my leg moves in and out. So I'm bringing my left leg in, my right leg goes out. I'm switching my hands over to the right hand side. Step one. Step two. Switch it over. Show you different directions. Step one. Step two. Step one. Step two. So I'm using my weight on that right foot to transfer my hands over to the opposite direction. Now comes our third and final step, which involves a swipe of our right leg and a twist of our body to get back into that press position we started in. Okay? So, from the beginning, this is our starting position. This is step one. Step two comes over and round. Step three, my right leg swipes to the front and I bring my body all the way over to the press position we started in. But what I'm doing is I'm adding a swipe, a kick, and a jump to get to that position. Looks a little bit like this. Okay, show you one more time. So this is step two. Step three, this comes in. I'm swiping and I'm landing exactly where I started but facing a different direction. So I'll show you from the front. This is step one. This is step two. And step three, swipe out. Okay, show you this direction. Step one, step two, hands and legs change. Step three, swipe round. And again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So what you realize is once you have that momentum and you've got used to that ste those steps, your arms don't just work on the second step, they move into the third step. So instead of going one, Three, the arms move as your feet are moving into that third step. So you're kicking with your right leg and throwing your arms at the same time. So watch closely. This is one. Let's change on the two. Watch my arms. Three. Throw it all together. One more time. Step one. Step two on the leg. Step three. Throw and kick. Try it slow guys, step by step, go back to the beginning if you're struggling, but ultimately what you should get is three steps that involve your hands, your legs, and a throw and a kick of your arm, okay? I'm gonna put some music on, I'll do it really slow, and then I'll speed it up to show you what it should look like. step which is our sixth step and the reason it's advanced is for some people it can be quite difficult having more steps but then alternatively there's two different ways that we're going to look at the sixth step one facing forward and one rotating so this is what it looks like there are different people that do six steps in different ways okay guys a lot of people start with what we call a helicopter which looks like this 
okay? Which is basically starting midway through the step and then finishing it and starting again. For me, I, when I first learned this step, I learned it from the beginning, which makes it a lot easier for me, okay? And I learned it from a press up position, which looks like this, okay? Our aim is to create these steps facing forward, okay? And this is how we're gonna do it. You're gonna take your first step, which is your left leg, and it is gonna come through once again this gap that I've created on the right hand side, okay? So we're gonna step one. I'm bringing my arm up out of the way. So left leg, left leg steps across my body, my right arm comes up, one, okay? Step two, I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna bring it behind my left leg. So step one, step two. And as I bring it, you can see that my left leg has come down. It's gone from this straight position to being bending on the floor. It looks like this. And then I'm use my left leg again for step three. My step three, I'm gonna make it a little circle and I'm gonna bring it back up. So let's go back from the beginning. Start in position, step one, step two, step three. See how my arm is over to my left hand side because my body weight is to my right. This is where it needs to be because it's gonna help us with this next step because I need to transfer my weight but also I'm gonna be using my right leg. And this one's quite a big step so I need to get my other arm out of the way. What my right leg is going to do is follow my left leg. So it's going to go out and it's going to do a big circle and then transfer to the other side. And I'm basically replicating the shape I had on the other side, which was here on my second step. I'm going to bring my leg down on my third step. My fourth step comes in to replicate here, okay, to where I finish. So that's my fourth step. My fifth and my sixth step are probably the easiest ones out of the lot. From this position, my left leg is going to step back, so my right leg stays where it is, replicating the opposite side to where we started, and then my right leg is going to step back to finish facing forward. So that is six steps, one direction, all facing forward, and ultimately what you will see is your first three steps get replicated with your last three steps, okay? Watch, one, two, three, four, five, six. Left leg, right leg, rotate, switch, back, back. So, that is your basic six step. The way we're gonna do it now is I'm gonna put some music on, I want you to practice it slowly, genuinely picking up the speed until you get that fluid motion and doing it as quick as possible. It should look a little bit like this. rotates it and what we're going to try and aim to do is rotate 90 degrees at a time so you should be able to do four six steps in one full rotation looks a little bit like this CCs, we've had a go at three steps and six steps. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Start slowly, work your way up, and don't be afraid to go back to the beginning to reevaluate, to retry those steps. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep rocking, and until next time, peace.